that, that's what counts. <laughs> oh my god, he just started counting. <laughs> Remember about you, babe If this is what all lovers do I'll find another way The way I fell in love with you Is far from me today Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, so as you guys can see from the title, we are doing some target training. This is something I have never done with blue. I have done Liberty here and there, but this is something that I really wanted to take serious and do for an entire week to see what kind of progress we got. Now for day one, you will see a lot in these clips. Blue had no idea what I wanted for this first day. He kind of understood the concept when we finished the day, but in the beginning he had zero idea. He was almost afraid to touch the whip. He had no idea what he's supposed to do and I just assumed that because he's so used to moving away from my whip instead of ever touching it, which I've never asked him to do. So it was a little bit different and challenging for him, but you can see he gets a little nervous, flares his nose, but once I give him the treat, he's starting to like put the blocks together and understand the concept. Yes! <laughs> Boo -boo. That was the best one that I saw! Yeah! <laughs> All right, so for day two, I went ahead and changed it up on him. For the first day, I wanted to hold him to kind of get the concept down. And for day two, I decided to just let him stand out in his pasture. If he wanted to leave, he could. I just wanted to see if he would participate and would like the exercises or I guess the target training. And I was giving him a choice that you can leave if you want, but obviously I had treats. So he, he wasn't going anywhere, but you can see he's getting the concept way faster today. Can you touch? Can you touch? Oh. Yes! <laughs> Big apple. Oh yeah! Good boy. Boo-boo! <gasps> Are you ready for some target training, buddy? Me too! Let's go! Come on! Come on, come on! <laughs> Hello everyone, it is day three of doing target training with Blue, I believe. Yes. So again, I'm going to do it just him in the pasture right here. My treat's got my stick right here, so he's being a little impatient. We're going to go ahead and start. Today, I plan on doing it a little bit different and trying different heights, maybe trying it low. We're going to try everything today. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about day three. So again, I did it in the pasture where he could come up if he wanted to. I'm very patient with him. I try not to force him to come. You can see he's like, do I want to participate? Here he kind of cheats a little bit and I do have to give him my elbow and he, he, he's so cute. He starts to figure it out. I love it. So just like I said previously, uh, I just wanted to work on height differences, make sure he will reach for it. And I did it low, high, to the right, to the left. I literally tried so many different ways. You can see he's catching on so incredibly fast. He knows exactly where he needs to touch. And that is awesome. We're going to try it a little higher. Touch. Yes. Oh, let, me, let me get a treat. There we go. Good job. And we go a little bit higher. Touch. Yes! Good boy. Let me get the treat. I know, I'm slow. There we go. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Can you not? So today we're going to be working on target training, but I'm going to be adding some forward elements to it, trying to get him to follow the stick instead of just standing and touching it, because I think he kind of has the basic concept of it now. So, I have a limited amount of treats. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just pulled him out. We have done no warming up or anything. We're just gonna get right into it. And of course you're pooping. <sighs> okay, let's let's just start. 
I'm going to start asking him to do it a little bit further because he's got pretty much the concept of, yes, touching it pretty close. So, sorry, buddy. So we're going to try just adding a little bit further from him. And if I need to help him with my halter, then I, I hate children. All right, so for day four, I wanted to bring him back into the round pin. I'm trying to break up this target training so it makes as much sense to him as possible. And in the next day, I do figure out that I actually didn't need this halter at all for him to understand this concept. I feel like it made it a little bit more difficult and distracting with the halter because I was pointing and he just, it was all over the place. But we did end up getting some steps in, him touching the stick and me rewarding him. So he was kind of understanding what I was asking of him poor guy <laughs> i did have to be really patient at times as well i mean overall i just want him to try that's basically all i'm asking of him i'm not asking him to be perfect here you can see he steps touches and i reward so he's he's getting there all right guys so today is day five of working with mr blue on his target training so we're gonna go ahead and get started the lighting is not Let's not pay attention. Oh my god, I hate that. Okay. Okay, we're just we're just gonna get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did a few practices with him. I always try to come out and do like five or six just touching, just so he can touch. Kind of understand the yes, the concept again and kind of refresh his brain. So now, since I did it with the halter last time in walking, I'm gonna try and incorporate it again, the walking but without a halter, just so I can see if he wants to leave, if he wants to do it. Of course, with the treats, he's gonna gravitate more towards me instead of the stick, so we're gonna try our hardest to touch the stick and not my treat bag. Okay, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss with you? Yes, come on. I'll, I'll give you a treat for that one. All right, we only have a limited amount, so let's get started. Alright guys, so for day five, this is when we were making the most amount of progress and when it all started to really kind of come together and it, it was so exciting. I remember I was so excited on this day and Blue was having a good time, but just keep watching guys. It's going to get better and better. The progress is great so far. Now he definitely did way better without his halter and I decided to just keep it off. a lot of steps. He's actually doing better without the halter than when I had a halter on him. Touch! Yes! Good boy! He's having a lot of fun right now. I can totally tell. Yeah, you're having a lot of fun. Let's try a little bit closer. Try. Touch! Yes! He touched the stick, but I'll still... I'll give him... Ah! Did you grab that one? Oh, you're fast. I felt almost really silly, but I wanted to like I said before, make these, you know, exercises kind of come together so it made sense for my horse. And I thought that if I showed him on the halter how to walk forward with it, then that would make sense. But in reality, it it was, I think, like I said, a little confusing for him. And without the halter, it was way better. Like I said, he still has little things here and there he needs to fix. Like he tries to cheat and not always touch the stick. But, you know, we're trying 1% a day. You're such a fatty. Look, there's no more. He never believed me. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, hello everyone. Today is day six of working with Blue on target training. You can see he's very, very motivated right now to work with me. I know, hold on. So I decided to set up the camera in his pasture, which we're going to try. And then on our last day, we're going to try in the arena, which is going to be the big test, right? So I'm going to work a little bit farther from the camera. Hopefully it's not too far. Look at what, what I don't have anything. Look, nothing. You, <laughs> you're just <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and, and we're going to start now. All right, guys. So for day six, this is when I wanted to add circles. The most we got was probably about a half a circle and then he kind of gave up, which was really funny because when I switched sides on him, he, it was totally confusing for him. You can see that we had like a little bit of a stuck moment. So I made sure to direct him on both sides just in case that ever happened again because it really confused him. And I think I just was so used to doing it on that left side that when I came to the right side, he was like, what? But since he's so smart, he picked up on it very, very quickly. 
ran out of treats already. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. That's all I had. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have nothing. Good job though. You did a good job though. <laughs> all right guys. So it is officially the last day we're doing target training. But like I said in yesterday's video, I'm going to do it in the arena. Um, I have a lot of confidence in my horse, actually. Don't think that I don't. I actually have a lot of confidence that he's going to do a really good job. And I am going to try doing some like big circles, um, maybe going a little bit faster than a walk, maybe try a jump if we're getting, uh, you know, confident or maybe over a pole or something. But um, I'm excited and I'm also sad. I am going to continue doing this training uh, because I think it is amazing and it has definitely improved our bond, I guess. That sounded so corny. I hated that. Okay, we're just gonna start. I'm embarrassed now. Bye. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off his halter. Like I said, if he wants to go, he 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 can if he wants. <laughs> Please don't, but you can if you want to. Okay, that's gonna go over there. Hello. All right, guys. So for the last day, I thought I would just do a quick little video. I wouldn't do any voiceovers. So enjoy all of our progress and both of us just having fun. <laughs> I mean, I expected him to do pretty good because we've done some kind of stuff like this before, but that was really good. You did a good job. Proud of yourself? He's cute. All right, let's uh, let's go talk about it. Let's go. <laughs> Sitting under the shade because it's it's really hot outside. Like you guys could probably see it on my face. That's not cute. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well, I uh, didn't mean to scare her. Hopefully this isn't loud. Oh my, oh my god, this smells so good. Okay, so I wanted to do my official outro out here. Hello. Boop. Okay. I'm, I'm actually very surprised how much progress we made in one week. Even though it was kind of spaced apart a little bit in the video, it looks like it was one full week, but in reality, guys, um, it, it wasn't. It was. Uh, so that's why this video took so long to finally put up. I'm so impressed with my horse. He is just, he loves doing stuff like this in general, but I didn't 
think that he would take the target training so serious and he would love it so much and be so playful about it. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I gotta say, guys. I'm, I'm very happy and very impressed. Thank you to Apine Horsemanship for giving me this idea. And I'm so happy that I actually finished it and I did it and I'm very happy with the results. I'm going to continue to do it. What is going on back here? Do we need attention? Don't be shy. Be shy. It's okay. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, like I try this for a week and see how it goes, let me know. Maybe if you guys want another week of target training to see how much farther we can progress, that would be pretty cool. I don't know. You let me know down below. Either way, if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Instagram. Bam, there it is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.